All right, Figma Draw is out now. I've got a chance to play with it. I'm gonna show you how to make a logo design utilizing most of the features as a part of Figma Draw. So check this out. So this is um, a type that we have. I forget what the font is, but I have already flattened it. So that's the starting point. And the first thing I'm gonna show is what if we wanted to add some grit to like the edges of the type? All right, so remember it's been flattened already. We're gonna select it and we are gonna go down here to effects and choose texture. So now we can add texture effects and obviously we can do a lot of different cool stuff. Looks like frosted glass. Um, for me though, we're gonna come, you know, we want something that's a little bit more subtle. So, you know, something like right around here would actually be pretty cool. And what you would do if you like this and you wanted to apply it to other parts of the logo design or illustration, whatever you're working on, you can add it to the library up here. So I've already done that and I have one that's ready to rock. And so that's right, right there. Now, next up, let's say we wanted to add some symbolism and we wanted to create um, like a uh, real cool sort of abstract, like floating feather to play off the idea of drift, right? So I'm gonna take this, the series of four different perfect circles and they've been laid out in such a way to allow me to create through these perfect circles, a abstract feather. The way to do this, very simple. So what we do is we're gonna double click on one of these. I'm gonna hold shift just to add these other three shapes. And I'm gonna switch over here right to this icon. And this is the shape builder pull, pull tool rather, hit M and watch the magic. There's just two keystrokes or not keystrokes, but mouse clicks here. Left click, drag once here, left click, drag once here for the stem and we're good to go. So hit escape. I'm gonna delete everything that we don't need. Ah, look at that. Yeah, this works. So what we'll do now is add a fill and make it black. And we can get, a, get rid of the stroke here. Now, if we want the same aesthetic, we just come out here to texture and we will, or rather we just click over here on text. There we go. So now it is consistently uh, looking exactly like this. Looks sweet by the way, I love it. So, but this looks kind of like a leaf. So real quickly, I'm just gonna go ahead and toggle that off and then we'll use the pen tool just to create a few kind of like areas of where the feather is kind of cutting into the shape. All right, now we take this shape, this shape, and let's get out of there first. With both selected, now we can just do subtract front. Okay, so that's cool. I'm not gonna really spend too much time on that just because this is a quick demo. We can go back and add that texture on the effects. And um, to do that, we click on text, there we go. All right, so now let me show you another thing. Let's hit O and I'm gonna hold Shift and Alt and we are going to drag and create a stroke and this time it's gonna be a brush stroke. We're gonna beef up the stroke weight to eh, right around 14. And then we can come up here to the brush settings and we could choose different brushes and in real time, it will show you as you hover over these. There's a lot of different ones. I think they'll probably expand these more in the future, but I like Epic because it's Epic. Now, let's say we wanna create some white space between the edges of the type, as well as the edges of this little symbolism and this border. All right, how will we do that? Well, I'll just take both of them first and foremost, and I will duplicate them, Control D. I'm gonna take the duplicated ones and I'm gonna put them at the very bottom, but then I'm also gonna take this ellipse that we created and put that at the very bottom underneath those. Now with both of these selected, I'm gonna go ahead and take the top one. We're just gonna make the fill um, white. And actually let's give it a stroke rather. We're gonna do this in the form of a stroke. So we're gonna make that stroke white and then we will also do it to the type. This stroke is gonna be white. So now if we Bump this up, ah, look at that. We have some of uh, our white space occurring so that they don't bleed into the edges of the type, making it more difficult to read. So now what we can do is also add the same thing, um, the same stroke to this variation right here. And that's the same stroke width of 31. If you enjoyed this video, check out designcourse.com where you can learn UI, UX, CSS, and more with my custom interactive platform that makes learning fun and easy. All right, and there we go. I like that, that's pretty solid. So now what we wanna do, if I hit the rectangle tool, we wanna be able to really see 
I mean, we could see the stroke would look stupid. So what we'll do is take those two white layers along with the ellipse and then just choose right here, subtract. Ta-da, works awesome. Now I'm gonna take another ellipse from the center, shift alt, and let's say we wanna have like some grainy, sub sort of grainy texture to make it feel rough, right? So what we'll do is change this um, right down here. We're gonna choose uh, noise. And for noise, we're gonna make the fill white and we're gonna go back to the noise settings. And there's three different tabs here. So you can choose uh, mono, duo, and multi. Just play around with them. Um, I'm gonna choose duo and then we're gonna take the density, kind of reduce the density, increase the size. You can see there's two different colors here. The black one is at opacity 25%, so we can increase this just a bit, so we can see it just a little bit better. And then it's up to you just to experiment with, you know, how many of these that you want. Do you want it to be more dense? Again, it's entirely up to you. I think that's fine right there. And then finally, another thing I will show you is let's duplicate that ellipse. And now that it's duplicated, I'm gonna get rid of the effect, and I'm also gonna get rid of the fill, but I'm gonna add a stroke. Now, I don't know why you have to add a stroke in order for this to work, but you need a stroke for this to work that I found and hit the type tool and now we can add some text and you'll see a little um, thing show up next to the cursor. Go establish 2025 and now we have our type. I can make this a little bit smaller and we can move this option. We could, you know, situate this wherever we want. And there we go. Very, very cool. So now what we can do is uh, you could take this and we can, let's say, move it over after unlocking that one layer. And we could experiment with color now. So we could take this. If I were to add color on this logo, all I would do is just take this background and maybe when you want, like, just add a little bit of like yellow there, desaturated. You can make it go extend you know, further out if you want, like this. I like this. And there we go. Those are the new tools. Figma Draw, and I think they are really awesome, and obviously they're going to level up. This is a replacement for many people for with Adobe Illustrator with brand work going forward. So I think it's super cool. Make sure to check out designcourse.com. I have a lot of new courses up there for this year, and I'll see you all soon. Goodbye.